tell a jury and convict the SOB. I'm not sure I can do that. Why? This McGillicuddy firm didn't represent him. They represented Ideal Mart. Think about it, Alyssa. Why wouldn't Ideal Mart come forward with this information about Schaffner on their own? If Schaffner's in prison, it's just that much easier for Ideal Mart to buy the property in Brooklyn. The way McGillicuddy uncovered the dirt wasn't kosher. I'd be indirectly exposing their firm to ethics violations. Which, in turn, would put your butt in an ethical ringer as well. So what about it, Alyssa? Are you in? It's crazy. Think about it this way. Instead of making a giant step for womankind, this time you'd actually be helping one of your clients. Mrs. Schaffner has already expressed her willingness to accept my offer of a plea bargain. Against my advice, I think she's going to walk out of that courtroom a free woman. As opposed to? I drop the arson charge, and she pleads to one count of second-degree manslaughter. What does that all mean? A six-year prison sentence. The jury is always a gamble. What about the little girl's parents? They've already agreed, but you're a victim here, too. So it's no deal if you're not OK with it. No problem. I'll notify the judge that we'll continue the trial this afternoon. No. Six years is better than nothing. Good. Thank you, Mr. Schaffner. There's no need for you to wait around. We're done here. We've got a deal. That's right. Ten million dollars in a money market account for six years? I can wait for that. What are you talking about? You're such a jerk, Miles. Insurance. There's got to be a $10 million check in the mail as we speak. Don't try to cash it, though, sweetie, because I've already got an order of attachment. You can't legally benefit from your own crime. You blew the house up. But part of the plea bargain was that she wouldn't be charged with arson. You just agreed to it, Miles. Is that right? I have no idea. Can you take the deal back? I just gave my word, Mr. Schaffner. <laughs> what if I told you there is no money in the mail? I let the insurance policy lapse. Don't you think I know that? Alyssa knew you would probably try to pull something like this. She arranged for the insurance company to notify me if you ever missed a payment. They did, and I paid it for you. Hold on. How long have you been involved? Going on three years. I agreed not to charge your client with arson. I didn't say anything about you, Alyssa. Oh, give it a rest, Jack. I knew nothing about it. But what I do know is human nature, and I know how men like to mistreat their wives. It's my job to make sure they're compensated for it. You know how I hate to gloat, but I finally beat you, you prick. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you pick at the last piece of meat on my bones. It's too late, Miles. There was an arson, Mr. McCoy. I blew the house up. Why would you do that? Because I had nothing left but the house. And I knew it was next on her lawyer's hit list. I wanted to die in those flames. And now I'd rather tell the truth and go to jail than watch you pick at the last scrap of meat. That means no insurance settlement, sweetie. No proceeds for you to attach. And you know what? It's all worth it to watch you clutching with your claws and there's nothing Absolutely nothing for you to grab. <laughs>